Myrna's Sandro Slami. She will present her project, Blockchain-Based Health Management System. Please welcome Myrna's to the stage. Okay. I lost my father when I was 10 due to a misdiagnosis in the emergency room. Unfortunately, my family's story is not unique. Every year, about 30,000 Canadians die due to misdiagnosis and medical errors, a number that could be significantly reduced with better access to comprehensive medical record-keeping systems. Our healthcare sector is plagued by fragmented and often incompatible electronic record-keeping systems, leading in efficiencies and uh, risk to patients' lives. Our vision is to change this. Um, we want to bridge these gaps by offering an easy-to-use platform that can keep all your health records. Our platform can transform the way that health services are currently provided in clinics and hospitals. It can significantly increase the time efficiency in, uh, for patient administration by reducing the time spent on manual processes, such as uh, searching for records or um, verifying information. As a result, healthcare providers can focus more on uh, delivering better care and attending to more patients. By leveraging blockchain, we ensure that your medical records are, securely, uh, are stored securely and accessible only by authorized individuals. Our platform utilizes AI to ensure uh, to to identify patterns and trends, enabling doctors to um, to identify risk factors and uh, make better informed decisions, and in, uh, leading to timely and accurate diagnosis. Families often experience uh, disrupted medical uh, history file due to moving from a country or a province to another. Our platform centralizes your health records and uh, ensures that they remain intact and readily available regardless of where you live. Um, doctors, uh, doctors can access the uh, medical files um, easily access your medical files and the uh, comprehensive medical records that span through generations. Uh, this will en enable the doctors to make uh, more uh, better choices and identify risk factors and make uh, prevention plans uh, early on for your uh, families. And um, our platform's ability to make a, to build a clear picture clear evolving picture of your family's health will uh, help your family, help the parents, patient, uh, parents, children, and their generations to come to lead a healthier, uh, more fulfilling lives, knowing that uh, they will have the necessary tools and guidance for it. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. You have five seconds left. Yeah. You're the, the, the record line. winner. <laughs> no, you did well. And now we'll get some questions from the judges for you. Thank you so much for your presentation. And certainly let me extend my condolences on the loss of your father due to a medical error. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, my question is, what, where is this at at this moment? Um, well, as you know, this is a very big project. It is not a one-person solo project, and it requires a lot of capital and investment for it to be actually developed and moved forward. Uh, besides that, um, as you know, health is um, provincially regulated in Canada, and therefore for us to be actually be able to implement this plan in each of the provinces, we have to be able to have this conversation with the government going. And um, well, I have for sure for the uh, market validation during the project, I uh, did uh, talk to the government, Shared Health Manitoba, but for it to be um, moved any further with any of the other provinces. It requires more uh, government support, but support not in terms of uh, support, financial support from the government, more like uh, collaborative kind of support from the government. Nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, in terms of what your actual product is, mm -hmm. Um, is it, uh, are you looking at sort of speed to market? Are you, it sounds like you have, your technology wise, you sort of have some 
predictive modeling of data going on and then some blockchain so, um, features. So we need, um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, sorry. So I guess my question is, is there innovation in the blockchain in the technology itself or is it more like how you're putting putting it together and, and going uh, I would say um, both of it kind of because uh, with any development with the blockchain, so blockchain is a technology. It's a very vague name to put on it. When you're uh, building this model, you come with innovation in terms of how you're uh, designing designing your model. And uh, in terms of how like the model itself, the design itself, the smaller components of each component that you're putting into this design, it is making it a unique um, compared to what, uh, what else is in the market right now. So for us, one, uh, one of the biggest, I would say, innovations would be to kind of figure out the way to uh, attach the blockchain interface, well, back end to the government's databases. So adding a little more up-to-date technology to the legacy systems that the government is currently using and extremely is expensive to maintain. I'll pass on the questions because I don't want you to rush with only 17 oh, no. seconds left, but it's very good. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mernaz.